Hey everyone, just wanted to take some time to share a little bit about what's on my mind uh, right now, per usual. Uh, as of late, I've decided to no longer post anything religiously or politically incendiary on my Facebook page uh, because I feel like it's basically led to long drawn out Facebook debates that get nobody anywhere. Uh, you know, I'll post my comment, someone will post a comment in response saying that I'm stupid, someone else will post a response saying how that person's uh, response is stupid. It'll just, you know, degrade into something that it was never meant to be in the first place. Sometimes it's just stating what I believe and I'm not trying to debate, but hey, I, I know it's going to invite it and so I shouldn't be surprised when it does, but it often ends up being time consuming. And since I don't have time to do it and it, uh, we're often becoming further entrenched in our own points of view rather than actually having healthy dialogue, uh, I decided to stop. Uh, doing it all together on my Facebook page. Not to say that I won't do it on other people's Facebook pages from time to time, uh, but on my own I'm just trying to keep away from doing that. Unfortunately today I forgot and I posted a poster that was a response to all those coexist bumper stickers that we've seen on the back of people's cars. And If you haven't seen it, I'm posting it right now. You can see it on the screen. Uh, it's just a uh, a, the word coexist and it's made up of symbols from various world religions. And I remember the first time that I saw this coexist sticker, I thought, huh, that's interesting. How can we coexist when, uh, when, they teach, when all the world religions teach such contradictory things? Uh, they, they make mutually exclusive truth claims and they can't all be true at the same time. Uh, scripture teaches, the Bible teaches, that Jesus is God, that he is the only way to heaven. Uh, Islam teaches that uh, Jesus was just a, a prophet and a good man, uh, but subservient to um, Muhammad. Uh, Baha'i teaches that Jesus and Muhammad were both prophets, but subservient to Baha'u'llah. They're teaching very different uh, views of God and, and prophets and, and good men. and so. I found that to be uh, very interesting and contradictory. Uh, there are religions like, again, Christianity that teaches that there is a heaven and that there is a hell. Um, and then there are other world religions that teach that there is no heaven, there is no hell, that we are constantly reincarnated in. Then there is nirvana, which is enlightenment. And so um, you've got very different truth claims made in these uh, religions. And so I've always thought, you know, how can they coexist? And unfortunately, I was carrying around a uh, a belief that the word coexist meant uh, contradiction and they have very different definitions so I went and looked up the word coexist and it meant to exist together at the same time that's what the word means uh, there's a secondary definition though that says to live in peace with each other especially as a matter of policy this isn't to say that I have to accept what another world religion says as equally true or valid it's just to live in peace with people who agree different, different than you as a policy. It's essentially to, to tolerate. Um, it's the act of allowing something or to put up with something that you disagree with strongly. That's the actual definition of tolerance. A lot of people believe tolerance means don't disagree at all, but the actual uh, definition for tolerance is to put up with something, to allow something to happen uh, that you don't necessarily agree with. And so here I was looking at these these coexist stickers and here I am now faced with this definition of living in peace and I find that so many Christians don't live in peace I have no problem living in peace uh, with someone who believes in Islam I have no problem living in peace with someone who is Jewish uh, I have no problem living in peace with someone who is Baha'i or so on and so forth down down the road of all the different world religions. Uh, there are a lot of Christians, however, who don't because they, they hear this and, and they're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, hold on. Jesus said, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. And so we, we need to bring the sword. Again, last week or a couple weeks ago, I was listening to this guy on the street corner uh, who was just saying the most incendiary things from scripture that he could to people who were walking by. And I talked about that in my last blog. And so they were kind of like these spiritual bullets just hitting people. Oh, you're a woman, you need to be subservient to man. And, oh, okay, you're you a Muslim, you're going to hell. And so, of course, nobody's going to listen to them. It's just these bullets that aren't doing any good whatsoever. And again, it's not that it's not in Scripture. 
but it's, you know, again, taken out of context, but it's just kind of this sword, and it's just hacking and slashing at people. And uh, so Christians hear Jesus say, you know, I came uh, not to bring peace but a sword, but let me give you some interpretive lens for that. What Jesus is saying in that moment is, hey, look, I didn't come to bring you comfort. With me, it's all or nothing, people. you got to go hard or go home. And in that culture, the rabbis, which Jesus was, would, would say, you know, you need to, to follow me, uh, but you don't need to be all in with me because you have your family. You have the government that you're subservient to. You need to be at least half in with me or at least three quarters in with me. But Jesus is saying, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. If you're going to follow me, you're going to take up your cross. You're going to have to go and die with me. It's all in. It's all or nothing. If you're not all in, don't follow me. And a lot of people didn't follow him because he said those things. And so you've got Jesus coming and saying, I'm not going to make your life comfortable. I'm not here so that you can listen to your safe Christian music. I'm not here so that you can buy a Jesus bobblehead or a Jesus action figure or your testaments at the local Christian bookstore. you got to be all in with me, and it's going to be hard. If you're all in with me, your family's going to turn against you. Your friends are going to turn against you. Your government's going to be against you. Okay? It's not easy. All in. All or nothing. And a lot of people walked away because of that. But that's what Jesus is saying there. He's like, I'm not going to make your life comfortable. And a lot of people take that as, we need to be militaristic. We need to be the army of the Lord. We need to go and kick people's doors in like the Gestapo. Do you know Jesus? No. Okay, well then you're going to hell. I, I think that's a very bad approach to evangelism. And so uh, you find Jesus later on in Scripture uh, sending out the 72. And he says, whenever you go to a house, say peace to this house. And if you find a man of peace there, then pray a blessing over the home and eat whatever is placed in front of you and lodge with them. Now, if the city says, you know, we're, we're not going to accept your, your peace, then you, you, know, you wipe the dust from your feet and you be done with them, which was in their culture saying, hey, look, we wipe our hands, you know, we wash our hands of you, you're on your own here. Uh, we tried to bless you and you rejected it, it's okay. And so, or it's not okay, but you know, we're, we're out of here, you're on your own. And so, now you've got Jesus saying, hey, you know, go and pray a blessing of peace. And so I've really been thinking about this lately and thinking, you know, what if I found a Muslim who was a man of peace and accepted my blessing of peace? How much further would that go for my ability to share the gospel with him rather than, sh you know, hacking and slashing away at him? Yeah, we disagree, and yeah, I do have an agenda. I think the greatest thing a person can do is give their life to Jesus. I just, uh, I just believe that, okay? That's what Scripture teaches. I believe it. I take that on faith, and I believe it to the core of my being. But I feel like I would get much further with someone if I came with peace and not necessarily with a hacking and slashing mentality, that, you know, turn or burn mentality that so many Christians have. Now, I'm not trying to water down the gospel. I'm going to be full-fledged about the gospel, 100% about the gospel. You know, Christ till I die, people. But I think that our methodology needs to be examined. On this, uh, on this response, I've got it up on the screen now. It says, contradict. And it's all the world religions, symbols again. And then the final word, you know, the final T is the cross of Christ. And underneath it says they can't all be true, which is logically true. I just established that at the beginning. But underneath it says John 14, 6, which is, you know, Jesus' statement, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Again, uh, not that I don't believe that. I do believe that's true. Uh, however, I think by putting it on the poster, it short circuits uh, that mentality of coming with peace. Because what it's really saying, what this poster is saying is, they can't all be true, but Christianity is the one that is. And so rather than opening up dialogue and bringing peace to people uh, and and earning the right to be heard in their life, we're kicking in the door and saying, if you don't believe like we believe, you're basically going to hell. So uh, I just wanted to, to get other people's thoughts. What are your thoughts? I, I think that we would benefit greatly from bringing peace, not watering down the gospel, but bringing peace and, and praying a blessing of peace over the house. And if they reject us, okay, that's one thing. But if they accept us, how much more room would be made for us in their lives to share the gospel if we brought peace rather than swords?